Now for the top five books to movies tag. Uh, the original video I'll link below. It was by Emily from Obsessed Reader. She, I love her videos. Go check those out. I was tagged by Jacqueline over at Bryson and Books, who is awesome, and you should go follow her because she's so nice. Um, I'd like to see Mr. Penumbra's 24-hour bookstore turned into a movie. The book is about a young man who loses his job and has to find work in a bookstore. He acclimatizes to the job pretty quickly and he starts noticing some kind of weird stuff going on. Like he works the late, late night shift and he notices that a lot of the people that come in at that those hours are very strange. They take out books from the way back list, which is a bunch of strange books that are not with the normal books out front. He's not supposed to be looking at these books, but his friend kind of convinces him to look and they look and then just the story kind of unfolds and there's a lot with like underground societies and all kinds of really cool stuff. And the reason I would like to see this turned into a movie is because the book is narrated in the first person by Clay, which is the young man, and sometimes his attitude kind of gets on my nerves and I feel like if they made it into a movie that wouldn't be an issue anymore, so yeah. I like most of the concepts in the book and would kind of like to see it unfold in a movie. The second book I would like to see turned into a movie is Every Day by David Levithan, and uh, that book is about a an entity, I guess, like some kind of person that each day of their life they wake up in another person's body and this entity falls in love with a girl and wants to see her again. It's, it's really interesting the sort of stuff that it plays with. Although I had a few issues with the book, like I would like to hear more about why this is happening to this character. Why does this person keep waking up in different bodies? You know, I'd like to know more about that, but it doesn't touch too much on it. Um, but I would like to see it in a movie format because I think it would just kind of make a really interesting movie and I'd like to see all the characters and how they play out and uh, I don't know, it's just a really cute story. The next book I would like to see turn into a film is a graphic novel, and it's called Bone by Jeff Smith. Um, this is a bind up of like all of it, and it was wonderful. I absolutely loved it. Um, it's about three brothers. They find themselves in a new f sort of fantasy world where there are there's magic and dragons and crazy rat creatures and they meet some awesome characters like Grandma and Thorn, which is one of our main characters, are, and she's amazing. And each page in itself can be pretty funny and then overall it's a very epic story. There's evil in it and betrayal and adventure and traveling and just everything you could ever want in an epic. Um, plus it has so many funny parts like it had me laughing out loud it had me actually kind of frightened at parts. Anyway I think that would make an incredible movie it would have to be animated just by the the range of character designs like realistic person and super cartoony person and like pretty cartoony creatures. Um, so yeah, I just think it would be really fun. I don't know how they'd be able to do it. It's so big, but yeah, it'd be kind of cool. My next book is the Leviathan series, and it takes place in a steampunk world where there are war machines on one side, the clankers, and then on the other side, they're the Darwinists, and they have these mutated animals who help them fight and are kind of like their machines. Like um, the Levi Leviathan is a giant airship, but it's sort of fabricated from whale and other animals to fly through the air. It's pr it's insane. It's amazing. Yeah, here's some fabricated beasties. They're um, like spider dogs. It's really cool. Um, but yeah, I think this would make a really fun movie. I would love to see the animals animated, CGI. I think they would be incredible to look at. And, and the clinkers, like the, the machines too. It would all be beautiful. The final book isn't really a book. It was originally a, well, it is a web comic and it's called The Meek by Dershing Helmer. I have one of the little issues here. It's not finished yet, it's ongoing. Um, I think the artist is on hiatus right now, but uh, 
the story itself is amazing i'll leave a link in the description so that you can check it out because it's a it is mind-blowing the art is gorgeous it's just a little sample of kind of the artwork um the first part the first chapter follows angora and she is a a girl who she's naked <laughs> and she's running through the woods of the forest and she's trying to find her grandpa I do believe um, so she meets a guy named Pinder and tries sort of enlists him to help her um, the next chapter follows um, another character an emperor who's trying to keep his life together kind of like he's got some problems that you'll read about if you check it out and I totally advise that you do and the third chapter follows a gunslinging cowboy type character who's incredible um, but yeah the whole story is amazing breathtaking artwork masterful storytelling with this comic you need to check it out you need to. you'll thank me later so yeah that's it for now. If you have any books that you'd like to see turned into movies or any suggestions for more web comics that you might like, I would love to hear suggestions. Um, so yeah, I don't really have anyone to tag because um, I'm new and I know a lot of the other people that I know have already been tagged. Um, but if you want to do it, please do it. I would love to see it. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching.